Hello individuals and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Superhero Wednesday, the day of the week where we do flexes, where we do uh, comic book reviews like we are today, where we do nerdy shit. We talk about all the beautiful, wonderful, lovely stuff that it makes this weird, wonderful world weird but amazing because we're all weird little bastards. I did a lot of talking like this, didn't I? Like, I don't know what that means. But yes, like I said at the start, we are here for another comic book review. This time it is for New Fantastic Four, issue two. I'm going to say it like I always say. I'm going to try to make it spoiler free because I have no idea if you guys actually just want to listen to it. In fact, we'll do that right. I'm going to go spoiler free, but please, let us know in the comments below. Do you want me to go full hog spoiler free or just just... Uh, four hog spoiler heavy I should say and tell you the story for each week and just do a random of each book each week How do you want me to do it or do you just want to know little bits and go ah, that sounds interesting I might check it out one day or or whatever How do you want me to know it? As we have already established many many times I'm a fat idiot and I just go really like superheroes uh, Spider-Man's great thump thump and Batman's very err <laughs> I know it's spoiler free, I will I will just try and bring it down to its bare minimum and tell you how the book played out and stuff or whatever. And I will show you a couple of panels, apart from the, oh, do I show you the, see, I've already said spoiler free, but I really want to show you the, 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 the final page because it's quite like, oh shit. I tell you what, I'm not going to show you, let me know in the comments and I'll, next time we do a comic book review, or next time we do a superhero Wednesday if I remember, I hope you remember. I'll just show you. Does that work? Anyway, it is the new Fantastic Four issue two, and as we know, uh, Ghost Rider, Spider-Man, uh, Hulk, well, Mr. Mr. Fix-It Hulk, um, and Wolverine, I did ever say that? that? Yeah, them four. Wolverine, Mr. Fix-It, Spider-Man, and Ghost Rider all had like this weird um, sort of feeling just to meet up with each other and head to Las Vegas, which we left our heroes in Las Vegas in a, a fight for their lives. Uh, well, kind of Ghost Rider mainly. He was left behind while the the rest of the team was, was like randomly went to the the, the Baxter Building because uh, Priest John just wished to be away from danger. And they were there. Priest John was somewhere else. Uh, we'll come back to us in a second. Ghost Rider was left in the underground tunnel-y bits with the, with the nasty demons. I'm just checking the summary. Miss, um, uh, Mr. Fucking... John Priest was in Reno. He ended up in Reno. Um, and Mr. Ash was actually the demon. The demon as Modius. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I'm pronouncing it. A-S-M-O-D-E-U-S as Modius. He was a demon. So this book let, let, carries on with in Las Vegas, um, tunnels below Las Vegas. Ghost Rider is surrounded by his little minions and whatnot. And um, Asmidas is ready to do battle. And the rest of the team at uh, the backs of the world and ready to, um, ready to get back and help out with whatever they can. And they're also with, as the cover presents, uh, they're not really together for most of it, but... Spoiler Dan, you dickhead. Um, the team are with the Human Torch. Through a good ch ch chunk of the book, it's primarily the, the, the rest of the team getting back to Vegas. Um, Mr. Priest getting back as well to Vegas as well himself. He finds himself on a little adventure to make his way back. There's a whole bunch of shenanigans that go on this bus journey and stuff. Uh, and Ghost Rider having, having the fight. And the fight's probably the biggest point for me because it's, it's the cool part. It's... It's it's a very loud fight. I know it's all pages and, and, it, and it's just words and whatnot, but it may, might not make any sense. But it's a very loud fight because you see... In fact, I'll just show you the first one. Yeah, I'll just show you it. Uh, you know, the Ghost Rider of his, of his chain, you know, the flames. Like, you can hear it as you're reading it. And you can imagine the screams and the roars of the demons he's fighting and the noise that he's making. He's going absolutely nuts. And we... we uh, it's a pretty good fight. It's a, it's a really good demon-on-demon demon fight. But as... Uh, Priest John is on his way back. He does his whole wishy thing because obviously everything keeps happening. Like he um, he wished to be away with the himself of Reno, and then he wishes to um, sort of get off the bus, blah, 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 be with wherever he needs to be, and he's back with the team. They're on the way to Vegas, and like I said, the fight carries on going. It keeps ensuing, and we get there. Yeah, it's not really a spoiler. There's a couple of your panels between Ghost Rider and stuff, uh, and like I said, it's a very loud fight. We get these cool moments. Ghost Rider's chucking his chain. Um, Asmidus is doing like like lavery blast sort of things. He's looking all very demonic and scary and chaotic, and obviously Ghost Rider's saying, listen, you don't scare me. I can do all this. You know, I am the Ghost Rider after all. He does a pretty good fact. He's a pretty good move of like um, smashed up his, uh, his chain, like, and it's, it's, it looks very good, that's what I mean, you can hear it, you know, when you sort of see words, you can physically hear it, 
We have a really, really cool moment during the fight where uh, Asminus is like, he's, he's like the, the fucking the hell demon or whatever the fuck he's called. Um, he's like, oh, uh, minions, get him. And Ghost Rider's like, yeah, you can try and all these chain, parts of his chains spring off. And it, it just looks really, really cool. And they're all a bunch of uniquely coloured, different, weird looking sort of um, demons. I guess they're all demons. And he, has, he must have this some sort of power... Um, ability to like sort of mind control and, and, and take over bodies because a lot of them are all like sort of homeless people and he's then twisted them and manipulated them or, 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 or let other demons possess their bodies to, um, to to come from the streets and try and take over and just cause havoc and whatnot. And uh, basically we, we do get to see some bits where they're out in the streets of Las Vegas causing havoc and all this kind of shit. Um, and uh, towards the end, obviously the rest of the team, you know, uh, Web Zahoy, as Spider says, rocks up and they look around at all the carnage and the mayhem that's ensuing. You know, John Priest is there. They're accompanied by the Human Torch. Um, Ghost Rider's not seen for a little while. We see a cool moment where Wolverine flicks out a middle finger with just one of his claws. And then there's, there's I mean, as soon as like his human-y sort of form, but it still looks very demonic. And it's basically, it basically happens... Uh, happens to be that somebody else gets possessed by by him and they're like oh who are you you know are you okay i'm not gonna say his name are you all right and he's like um he says die when he's possessed and they're like oh shit and it just says to be continued but it's a really fun story it's very wacky and kooky and uh spiritual you know what what how's this john priest all connected uh the team bonding together why is it he's drew them together uh, who is this demon? Uh, as we learn more about his character going forward, what's his end goal? What's his ultimate plan? Uh, he says some weird words in this uh, book as well, and he goes like, "Why did you say?" This? Um, and we're going to see how it all unfolds. Very beautifully drawn. The fight scene is absolutely awesome. Uh, good eye, demon hell fire shenanigans all going on. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Taking a look at the backs of the building, the team um, uh, in, uh, uh, interacting with Human Torch. Obviously, they take. Um, uh, they take a certain vehicle. I, I think it's obvious. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's obvious what vehicle they'll take from the backs of the building uh, and make their way back to Vegas. And yeah, like I said, certain somebody gets possessed at the end, and it's going to change completely now because this demon has new found abilities, uh, which the team's going to have to go with. I don't want to say who it is, but I really want to say who it is. I'm going to shut up, down. I find it very, very, very interesting. Like I said, there's still a lot of questions that we have to be answered about, you know, what, why is he doing this? How's he doing this? What's his end game? And that, uh, how are the team up? We're going to stop and, you know, win the fight and be the good against evil and shit. And it's, yeah, it's a cool dynamic. It's not just a typical, you know, I'm Spider Man, you're Doc Ock, you've been really bad. Uh, it's, um, okay, we're doing our thing. Shit, we're drawn together. We're in Las Vegas. There's all these people underground. All oh, the demons, you're a big main badass demon. Uh, Ghost Rider, uh, all use uh miss fix it let's fight oh now i'm a priest i'm scared let's get out of here we're away you're silly ah oh, fight again shit human torch what's gonna happen it's it's very fun and wacky and it's very like that it feels very like i said it's steady because you got your fights and whatnot but then it feels very because you're back to like what the fuck's gonna happen next and i'm i'm thoroughly enjoying it i don't know if i'm good at these comic book reviews now this book is still going to upload it and check it up to YouTube. But visuals, that was my spoiler-free review uh, for new Fantastic Four issue 2. Fun, intriguing, um, action, a uh, fairly action-packed action. There's been a hell of a lot of action in the first two issues. Um, uh, very, 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 very intriguing, I think I said that at the start. Beautiful to read, beautiful to look at, amazing artwork. Please go check it out. If not, just stick along with me. And when we come to issue 3, if you're like, damn, we're not going to buy this. Uh, just please spoil it. We'll go heavy spoilers about everything. But visuals, like I said, remind me as well in the comments, please, if you want to, if you don't want to buy this book, but you want to know who was taken over at the end, because I don't know if I'll probably spoil it in issue three, let me know, uh, and we'll do all that shenanigans. But the visuals, thank you so much for watching. You guys are literally the fucking best. Uh, I'll put the book away so it's safe and we'll get ready for the thumbnail. Yeah, let me know anything. I will be happy to do in more in depth and whatnot and, you know, all that shenanigans. So far, though, as the story unfolds, it's definitely getting a, a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, in fact, no. Why can't I give it a 10 out of 10? I am not disappointed whatsoever. It's a fun, relatively unique, as far as I can remember, story. Um, and it's got Spider-Man in it, so that's always a plus. Visuals, thank you for letting me ramble on about uh, colouring, colouring, uh, colourful pages of cartoons from an old man. Thank you for letting me ramble on about that. You guys are the fucking best. We'll keep being you and keep on all web slinging on. If you did enjoy the review, we'll boosky, boosky, please. That would help.